everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. In today's video, I'm going to test my knowledge of Southern expressions. I was born and raised in Macon, Georgia. I'm from a very Southern family. Uh, we've been in Georgia for generations, so obviously I grew up hearing a lot of Southern slang terms, expressions, and phrases. I say things today that people are like, what are you talking about? So I'm gonna take this quiz online. I have not looked at all the questions yet, so this is gonna be like genuine first reaction to see just, just how Southern I really am. I mean, I feel pretty confident, but you never know. Let's get started, shall we? The first word presented, catawampus. I know what that means. Here are the choices given to me. One, a mythical cat-like creature that lives in the swamps. No. Two, something that is crooked. Yes, that is the answer. The other two choices, someone who is being an a-hole of a JJ. Now, like I told you, the answer is something that's crooked. I don't ever really say catawampus. I say wampy jaw, same thing. It's crooked, so like if you hung a picture up on the wall and it was crooked, I'd say, ooh, fix that, that's wampy jaw. There, see, I got it right. Green. Next one. Gussied up. Here's the choices. Beating someone up. Feeling flattered after a compliment. Acting like my Uncle Gus. Dressing something or someone up. Ding, ding, ding. The last one. Dressing something or someone up. Means you're getting all fancy. Like, I'm going on a date. I gotta get all gussied up and look pretty. Fiddle dee dee. That's what it is. See, I told y'all, I know my words. <laughs> Next phrase, a bell clapper and a goose's ass. Here's the choices. A sex position that we really can't describe here. Something that's very fast, making a lot of loud noise. A bout of explosive diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard this before, but I'm just, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I I think it's making a lot of loud noise, right? Because one, geese are loud by themselves, and if they've got a bell clapper in their butt, I think that's even louder. So that's what I'm gonna choose. <gasps> and I got it wrong! The answer was something that's very fast. All right then, I see I learned, I learned something new. What did y'all guess? Because I didn't get that right. Next one, tearing up Jake. Choice number one, doing hard labor. Number two, performing yard work. Number three, making a lot of noise. And number four, taking the lead in a competition. Tearing up Jake. I never heard this one before either. I'm gonna say, mm, doing hard labor. What y'all think? Nope. This one was making a lot of noise. Oh my gosh. I'm not getting that right. Maybe I'm not Southern after all. What am I? Okay, here's, here's another one. High on the hog. I think I'm gonna get this one. Living a luxurious lifestyle. Speaking from a place of authority. Being stoned out of your mind. The feeling after eating a huge meal. If you're living high on the hog, you're living a luxurious lifestyle. Ding, ding, ding. I got that one right. Ooh, I'm like MJ. Hee hee. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Here's the next word. Cooter Brown. Choice one, picking your nose in public. Choice two, another sex position I'll get fired if I get scribe here. What? Talking trash behind people's backs or being very, very drunk. I think it's the drunk one. I've heard this before, but I don't remember what it means. But I have heard this one before. It's being very, very drunk. I got it right. See? I am Southern. Here's another one. My nose itches. Jerk a knot in your tail. Choice one. Having to take a weed. I'm not going to say the word they wrote because I think it's an ugly word. I don't like that word. But anyways, choice two, tying a ponytail before getting to work. Choice three, kicking someone's a double -S. Choice four, playing with yourself. Um, is it having to take a wee? Nope, means to kick someone's butt. There you go. I didn't know that one either. <laughs> I'm not doing so well. Should have picked a different quiz. Get on the stick. Choice one, getting completely wasted off hard liquor. Two, drive a motor vehicle. Three, insult somebody. Four, get to work on something. Get on the stick. Getting to work on something? I don't know this one either. Have y'all heard these? Well, that was the right answer. I guess that's just a good guess, but I had never heard of that before. Moving on, clodhopper. 
Choice one, a police officer. Two, moving from town to town. Three, a nickname for crickets. Four, someone who is super clumsy. Um, a clodhopper. That's a police officer, right? Nope, it's someone that's super clumsy. Moving on, as I continue to fail. Goobers, I know what goobers are. One, a freshly picked booger. Two, another name for peanuts. Three, annoying toddler. Four, a name for Hershey Kisses. Mm -mm, it's a name for peanuts. Yep, I got it right. Look at that. Moving on. <coughs> my neighbor just sneezed and I heard it. That's how thin my walls are. Next word, hunky dory. Nemo's hot older sister. An incredibly sexy English chap. Fish sticks that are especially tasty. Everything is a-okay. It means everything is a-okay. Ta-da! And that was the last question, oh my god! Look, I got seven out of 11 right, meaning I am a southern slang extraordinaire. Mm, mm, mm. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Well, there you have it. I am a southern slang extraordinaire. If you have certain words and phrases unique to where you live or where you're from, whether it be somewhere else in the U.S. or another country, leave it down in the underpants below. I love learning new words and things that are specific to just one area. I think it's really cool. It's what makes us unique, right? If you recognize any of these phrases that I had to guess the meaning of, let me know how, how well you did. Did you take the quiz with me? Let me know. I love, love seeing y'all's comments. And now the dogs next door are barking. I swear. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm having a blast making these videos. Like always, check back next Wednesday for another video. I'll see you then. Bye!